Surface Pro 9 is here, and it's actually a bit of a strange story. It's both more the same as what we saw last year, but also something very, very different. It looks exactly the same as the Surface Pro 8. No real design changes there. This year, though, it's going to be powered by both a 12th gen Intel processor or a 5G custom ARM chip, the SQ3, which is just going to be powering that specific model. So it is a bit confusing. These are two very different computers being called basically the same thing with two very different architectures too. One's going to be Intel-based, one is going to be ARM-based. On the Intel side, you know, not much has really changed. Uh, we really like the 12th gen chips. Those hybrid designs are just much faster from Intel. Uh, they're really energy efficient, so I'm sure that's going to do really well here on the Surface Pro 9. But what's really interesting is the SQ3, which Microsoft is saying is comparable in power to a 12th gen Intel chip. And we just really need to run some benchmarks and some tests to see if that's really true. And honestly, I'm just a bit confused by this as well, because I think a normal customer going to the store and buying a Surface Pro 9 may not be prepared for how different these computers are. Uh, Microsoft says the compatibility between you know, x86 and x64 apps on ARM chips are better than before, especially for like native Windows Store apps. So the issues we saw with the Surface Pro X when that first came out several years ago, maybe those have mostly gone away. But there's still going to be some compatibility issues, there are going to be driver issues, and they're just very different computers as well. In raw power, the Intel chip may end up looking a lot faster, but in some ways the ARM chip also brings in some new features. You know, it has an AI chip uh, that can also enable some new features um, in the webcam, like blurring out the backgrounds and just like doing all sorts of video things that the Intel model can't do right now because it doesn't have one of those AI chips. And we really didn't get to test this out, but the ARM chip, you know, it brings in 5G. So I think having a 5G capable Surface Pro 9 is going to be really compelling for a lot of people. But I also think Microsoft needs to be very clear about the differences between these machines. I can imagine somebody going into Best Buy and just getting, you know, they want the newest Surface Pro 9. If they pick up the 5G model, they may not be aware of the compatibility issues, of all sorts of other issues they may have to think about uh, if they plan to be using a computer for several years. So that's going to be an ongoing thing. We're going to be reviewing these and taking a closer look. But right now, they're certainly intriguing. They still look great uh, as a you know combination tablet, PC, and notebook. I think the surfaces are still uh, very good. I'd still like to see some bezel shaved off around the edges of the screens and uh, you know maybe some other things to modernize these computers, maybe bundle in those styluses and keyboards, which Microsoft has refused to do for the past decade. So you know that's something I'd love to see, but beyond that, these look really compelling. Keep an eye out for our review of this Surface device and all of our reviews of the Surface devices at Engadget.com.